Hi students, welcome to our very first program on array of characters also known as strings. In this particular string array problem, I shall be showing you different ways where you can assign data into array of characters. So let me show you the first way. The first way is I can say char name one. I won't define the size. So what I am going to do here is I am going to initialize it as an array of characters. All right. So this is this is an array of characters. If you're initializing it as an array of characters, it is your job to see that you terminate it with a null string. If you fail to terminate with this null, then you're going to have a problem. So here I've missed this quotes. Okay. So now if you see, I have taken the first array, I've given it the initial value a r j u n and specifically given it the null character at the end. So if I'm initializing an array character by character, it is my job to put this particular null character. Here, if you see, I have not specified the size because based on what I have initialized, that will determine the size of this particular array. So the size of this particular fellow is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six because we need one position for the null character. So it's going to be six is going to be the length of this particular array. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to define the second array. Let me say it is name two. And again, I don't give it any size. But here what I'm doing different is I'm initializing it with the name Simba. Okay. Now here, if you see again, I have not given it the size, but automatically its width is going to be six characters because five for S I M B A and one for the null character. But the difference here is if you're initializing an array using this double quotes, you are not required to give this particular null character. Then last, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can also read in characters from the keyboard. So I, what I've done here is I have defined max as 50 characters. That means the maximum size of this particular array is going to be 50 characters. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user just enter a name. All right. So let's see he enters some name. So we're going to read that particular name and using scanf we're going to store that particular name in name. Okay, it should be percentage yes. Sorry, percentage yes, double quote and it should be just any name three. I'll change that name to name three. All right. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is on the next line, I'm going to print all these particular names. Okay. Name one is equal to percentage S. Name two is equal to percentage S. Name three is equal to percentage S. Okay. And just to give so that all the names print on one separate line, let me give a backslash in the middle so that then there is advantage of that is you see one name per line it's a lot more clearer that way than just typing it all at one go all right sorry i need to give name one i need to give name two and i need to give name three all right a little bit of explanation is left just hold on for that so first thing what you need to do here is when you're entering the name suppose you enter name something like this Ramesh Kumar. After Ramesh, if there is a space, scanf percentage s is only going to read Ramesh into name three. If you want to read the complete name, there is another function called as the get s where you can read the entire line from the keyboard. But here I am just trying to read Ramesh only from the keyboard. Kumar is not going to be read. So if you see here, these are the my three strings. Let me take these three strings. Let me copy this particular program and try to run it in an online GDB compiler. So here, just pasting it, let's see if it first compiles. Okay, so far so good. It's asking me to enter a name. I'll enter name in capital so you can end up seeing the name. So see, I'm entering Rajesh Kumar, but you will see that Kumar will be ignored by the scanf. If you use a scanf percentage as along with the string, 
after the space or the new line it will no longer read any characters into that particular memory location of the array so here if you happen to see you are going to see arjun is the first then you have simba then you have rajesh so i hope i showed you different ways in which you can store data into an array you need to understand a couple of important things here the first is name three since it represents an array name three will be substituted with whatever address or location name three is residing in let us say name three is residing at location 5000 in place of name three location 5000 will go to scanf and starting from location 5000 your ramesh is going to be stored then scanf automatically does one other thing for you after the name data is read after ramesh is read and it encounters a space after h it will end up putting the null character automatically for you